Hello. Um, this is going to be kind of a bit of a different video um, that I plan on making. Um, excuse me. But you know, um, I think it's a film, a, a video uh, that I. Very good. I'm sorry about my hat, but. That's all done. I um, guess I'll just get into it. Um, uh, this past Friday, uh, Friday the 13th, um, Milos Forman, the director of One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest and Amadeus, passed away. Uh, he won two Academy Awards both for both of those films. Uh, actually, well, he won two Oscars. One for each of those films, not both. And he was a talented man. He was a talented director. Um, those are two of his most notable films he's made. He made other films as well. Um, People vs. Larry Flint is another. Um, but, you know, he, he... He made some entertaining films. And uh, it's sad that he passed away. Um, he was 86... Yes, he was 86, I believe. I'll just actually just check right here. Uh, yes, 86. Um, and, you know, that's sad. Uh, talented man. But, uh, from what I could I read, because uh, I found out about it actually uh, uh, Saturday, uh, late Saturday night, um, and then uh, on social media like Instagram and Facebook and all that, I, and Twitter, I put, like I said, rest in peace uh, to Milos Foreman. And you know that was unfortunate that that happened, uh, but I'm sure he uh, had a. Oh, good long life. Uh, he um, apparently had a illness not long uh, before he passed away. Not seeing what that illness was, but I, I, I can only guess at this moment that had something to do with it, or perhaps he just he he died of something else. That's all that's been really uh, said is that before he passed away, he you know he was sick with an, uh, with an illness for a while and he passed away. Um, now, just uh, yesterday, I found out Arlie Ermy died. I, had, I was all, I was really shocked to hear this. Um, you know, he played Gunnery Sergeant Hartman in uh, Full Metal Jacket. He was in Seven uh, as a captain. He was in Toy Story. He was the... Uh, sergeant or the, of the Green Army Men. Yeah, he was a Sarge. And he was in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. And the follow-up to that, but which was a prequel called The Beginning. Sheriff Hoyt, and was just somebody who went around killing people and stuff. And, uh, you know, abusing his authority. Or, but then we later on uh, find out uh, he may not be what he appears to be. So, you know, he did a great job acting. You know, he was very talented. Um, he played a lot of military and police characters. Uh, he was a Marine, uh, a real-life Marine. He was in um, Vietnam. And he had his own show 
uh, called Mail Call, and the military, and it was, it was a very interesting show. Uh, he seemed to be a great guy as well, and um, it's unfortunate that the, uh, these two fine people in their professions, a director, another, an actor, passed away the same weekend. Um, I know this does happen, and um, since that old saying is true, it seems as if somebody else will pass away, unfortunately, soon, because they say celebrities always die in three, and that's just unfortunate, uh, but I hope, it, I hope somebody doesn't pass away soon, but, you know, I don't know, that old saying and all. If somebody does pass away, just hope they are in their old age and died natural causes. Because, um, uh, you know, uh, Arlie Ermey was only uh, 74, and he died of pneumonia. And, uh, it's just a real shame uh, he passed away. Thought he was a good actor. Seemed like a good person too. Seemed like a good guy. Um, same with uh, Milos Forman. Uh, um, you know, I mentioned how Foreman won Oscars. I think you know. Um, uh, yeah, Arlie Ermey should have won an Oscar. For a full metal jacket. Um, yeah, he he was just so good. Looking up uh, who were nominees that year, because um, I think Arlie Ermick should have gotten an Academy Award nomination. You know, you know whether he would have won or not. Different story. Um, he was in Apocalypse Now as well. Um, uh, he was a helicopter pilot. Uh, you know, during that famous scene where they go to attack the Viet Cong. An epic scene with uh, that. And that happens before you know. Um, Robert Duvall says his most famous line of the film: um, you know, "The smell of napalm in the morning." Um, he was in that film as well. Um, forgot about that. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sean Connery won the Oscar for *The Untouchables*. So. You know, um, yeah, he won the Oscar that year. That was a good performance by Connery. So, can't be entirely upset uh, by that decision. Um, Albrook uh, Brooks was nominated for broadcast news. Uh, for supporting actor at the Oscars, Morgan Freeman for Street Smart, Vincent Gardenia for Moonstruck, and uh, Denzel Washington for Cray Freedom. So I don't know. Um, I mean, Moonstruck was a good film, but uh, perhaps you could have um, put an Ermy there instead. Just perhaps, maybe, uh, or maybe not. You could one could disagree with that assessment, uh, but I think he did a good enough job to have been nominated for an Academy Award. Whether again he would have won is a different story. 
But yeah, I just wanted to check to make sure, because I know he wasn't nominated, and I wanted to know who won as well, as well as the other nominees. Um, but Milos Forman won two Oscars, well-deserved Oscars. Um, he was nominated for uh, People vs. Larry Flint. Um, didn't win for that film. Count ninety six, so he yeah he lost to yeah the English patient. Uh, I myself think uh, Fargo should have won best director and picture that year, count ninety six. But you know whatever, that's just me. Um, I wasn't too fond of the English patient myself. Maybe some of you enjoy it. It's kind of boring to me. Um, but yeah, two talented people passed away this past weekend. Um, but they will be remembered. They will be remembered for their works. Um, have a good legacy. Uh, said they passed away. But it does happen. Um, if anything, it's like you just wish for talented people, as well as even loved ones that uh, you have, I have. We wish didn't pass away uh, when they did, but it does happen. And uh, clearly, you know, their loved ones are a lot sadder than. You or I are, you know, we're fans of theirs, obviously, but still, it's 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 very unfortunate. I hope the best for their families, so they can, you know, be able to have their grieving process and uh, do all they can. to get every uh, make all the arrangements needed uh, for them like funerals or memorials something of the sort because um, families need that you know uh, and you know we'll move on but it'll, it'll be hard and difficult to do but You know, move on the best they can, uh, particularly when uh, people like that have been involved with their lives for a long time. You know, um, yeah, Milo Schwarman has uh, uh, four kids. Married, married three times, um, but he was married at the time that he passed away. Early, early. He was married. He also has four children. Just they'll uh, do the best they you know they can. You know, been with them for a long time, and uh, so yeah. Men have families, you know, they'll do what they need to uh, for, for them to be laid to rest and um, just hope for the best for them. Uh, losing a loved one always is unfortunate, um, it's never fun. 
but I wish them the best and uh, rest in peace to Mr. Mr. Foreman and Mr. Uh, <clears throat> Ermy. Um, he's a good gunnery sergeant, honorary honorary gunnery sergeant. That's what uh, Ermy was. May they rest in peace, uh, and their families have do what they need to, and be able to uh, go from there. Honestly, really, you know, just uh, do what they have to. You know, to move on from this. These unfortunate circumstances of a loved one passing away. You know, never get over them, obviously. Always remember them, but um, just hope for the best for them. Uh, thoughts, prayers, any of that uh, good stuff one could say at a time like that, or like this, is all I can really say. I don't know. I don't really know what else to say, so I'll just leave it at that, and uh, if you, maybe you've just heard the news now, um, or maybe you haven't, but, or maybe you have heard the news sometime, or, but, or but again, if you haven't heard it, um, yeah, there you go, um, perhaps you've heard some of these people. Maybe you haven't. Perhaps you've heard of the films they've been in. But, uh, in any case, these two were talented men. And, um, their legacy will live on uh, through their films, through their children, um, their families. And, uh, rambling a bit, but, you know. It's sad, and uh, I didn't expect to uh, talk about something like this, but it is film-related, entertainment relation kind of thing, so I thought that's appropriate. Um, <clears throat> and other people, I'm sure, are talking about it, too, so why not me? Give my take on <clears throat> this and these men. I just gave a brief <clears throat> my my thoughts on these men and their works <clears throat> and the work they done they have done and uh, I enjoy the work uh, they will be remembered so until next time I hope you have a good day um, <clears throat> despite the news that I've given. Uh, yeah, I'm sure most of you have heard this, but maybe not, but it is, it is unfortunate, so <sighs> may they rest in peace. Uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.